if there's historical mine workings like these in the area you're mapping, then they can tell you a lot about the mineralisation systems you're chasing. If you want to understand the language they speak and how to interpret it, then this is the video for you. I'm Nick Tate, and this is another video in the series of Fieldcraft for Geologists. Fieldcraft for Geologists is a series of videos I've been making covering the skills and techniques you need as a geologist in the field. It's the stuff you didn't learn at university. This is the headline version for YouTube. If you want the detail on each video, go to the link below in the description. It'll only cost you a few bucks and once you're signed up, you'll get all the videos that are already there, plus anything new that I shoot as I find interesting things in the field. It's a really good idea to go and have a look at the old dumps like this one. I like to use the HAMS principle. Host rocks, alteration fasces, and mineralization events. So let's go and have a look at this dump here and see what we can find. So in quick summary, we already know that the host rocks here are some kind of schist and maybe an amphibolite. The ore is probably hosted by a big structure because there's lots of shearing in the rocks that are altered and adjacent to the ore. There's two mineralization events, an early butt quartz vein, followed by another quartz sulfide event. That quartz sulfide event probably had a lot of chalcopyrite or some other copper sulfide in it. And then in the supergene zone, that's gone to chalcosite. And then above that, there's oxide ore in malachite and native copper. And the mineralized structure probably has an alteration halo, philic alteration, sericite quartz pyrite, out into the host rocks. So when we're looking for something similar on surface, we're probably looking for a big structure, a shear zone, maybe with some buck quartz veining in it. And when we get closer to the ore, we'll probably see a philic alteration halo on that structure. And when we're right on the good stuff, there'll be a pretty good gossen right in the middle of the structure, this event here. When you're looking at an old working like this one, and you're trying to figure out what they were mining, look for one of these. It's an ore box. So if you want to know what the good stuff looked like, look here. Mapping the surface distribution of old workings can be really useful. Here's an actual example. Aeromagnetic data shows some very detailed structure. Historical mineral occurrence data shows an apparent correlation with the interpreted structure, but detailed mapping of individual pits in white and shafts in yellow tells a different story. The mineralized structures interpreted from the distribution of old workings trend east. These structures are effectively invisible on the magnetic data because they're masked by signals from dikes and faults that are unmineralized. If you see a line of old workings and there's a lot of little pits in a row like this and there's a few bigger pits or shafts off to the side like this, that doesn't necessarily mean that there's two loads. In fact, it can often give you the dip of the structure. The small pits are usually along the outcrop and the bigger pits are usually in the hanging wall down into the structure. So the structure dips that way. In cross section, if this is the surface up here, you've got a structure going down like this and the small pits are on the surface here and they follow down the load and the big shafts start here in the hanging wall and go vertically down to meet the structure. So now we're looking at some of the smaller pits and trenches on the surface and that there's a long narrow slot working right at the surface so I can be pretty sure that that's exactly where the load outcropped and the direction of that slot will give me the strike of the load. Over there there's a little shaft that's now collapsed it's off the line of load. So there's a pretty good chance that's an air shaft or a winding shaft in the hanging wall. And that tells me that the load dips that way. So you can see there's real value in mapping the distribution of old workings and looking carefully at the material on the dumps. 